So what do I do? What do I, what's my day-to-day -day job? Well, partly I do lecturing and uh, mainly I sort of focus on, on my research. And so people say, well, what do you do? Well, if you don't want to talk to them, you say, I'm a physicist, then normally that's the, the end of the conversation. But if you want to sort of engage them a bit more, I tell them that I study relationships. It is so vitally important that nurses are involved in research. Uh, this is because of our unique person-centred approach to the way in which we care for patients. And then that is reflected in the research that we carry out. In order to change levels of physical activity, there are a number of areas that we focus on. These include measurement, trying to understand how active or inactive people are, determinants or the factors that influence why people participate in physical activity or why they avoid physical activity. So I do experiments. Um, I run computer codes, I develop computer codes just to be able to predict flows in equipment. That's a difference. Eh? Um, it's rather similar to the weather predictions but now it's in industrial equipment. I would like to introduce the impressive electron microscopy facilities which we have in the University of Limerick. With transmission electron microscopes, TEMs for short, one can image materials down to the atomic level and reveal the arrangements of atoms. So learning to write and a reference academically is one of the big challenges that students face when they return to education or come to education for the very first time. Possibly because it's a very difficult area to try and master. It's nothing like anybody would have had experience before. As an ethnochoreologist, I'm interested in people society, culture, and in effect, I'm interested in understanding humanity through the lens of dance. So when I look at people dancing, I'm wondering about what does their dancing tell me about them? The material we hold is what's called unique and distinctive collections. We have over 2,000 archival boxes and 40,000 printed works. The oldest item in our care dates from 400 AD. That's over 2,000 years of history stored in the Glucksman Library. Which consumers am I curious about? These are not necessarily consumers who might be perceived as marginal or vulnerable. These are everyday consumers like you and me who find themselves continuously targeted by sophisticated marketing to buy the latest and the newest. The study can really affect person of any age for different reasons. A lot of the time the study is associated with underlying neurological um, illness. So how do we improve sleep? Well there's a lot of things that we can do to enhance sleep of individuals. Much of it revolves around routine. Going to bed at a similar time each night, waking up at a similar time. Unfortunately, weekends you can't bank sleep. The case method is a teaching approach which requires our students to take on the role of a protagonist within a business case, analyse their situation and devise and defend solutions. How do women experience war? Do women experience political conflict in a different way? Those questions have informed my research and my teaching for many, many years because as part of a Spanish family who suffered the consequences of the Spanish Civil War, that has always had a huge impact on me, my sister, my mother, and all the different women in my family. 